Matt Kirk here with the BMW Motorrad Club of Northern Illinois. In this video I want to show you a direct comparison between the Metzler tire and the new Avon tire. Avon, Avon, however you say it. Uh, anyways, this tire over here you guys are probably familiar with on the Cade bikes. It's the, uh, the Marathon 880 in the uh, 79V so this is a bias ply tire this one here which is not yet installed onto a rim is the 3D the Storm 3D XM tire for the rear now uh, I'm, I'll talk about the front tire in a moment but just gonna just kinda doing a visual comparison here between them uh, you know I know a lot of you guys are out there shopping for rear tires shopping for tires in general especially when it comes to this LT you know we we know that it, it goes through tires pretty regular it's not something that's uh, light on tires this tire so it, when you're out there choosing what kind of tire to get now I don't I don't have a the BT tire the uh, battle axe Bridgestone tire I don't have that one right here but so I'm, this is really just a comparison between these two individual tires I've been on both uh, actually I've not I have not been on this particular tire yet because the Storm 2, which has been uh, replaced, I still have that on my bike right now. I still got a few thousand miles left before that's fully worn out, and I'll switch over to this one. I have high hopes for this tire. Uh, as some of you guys have uh, watched my other videos in regards to tires, you know that I really like the radial tires versus the bias ply because of the way that I ride. Okay. So this, this bias ply tire here, it's tried and true. It, it really works very well for what I want to say is uh, an average rider, okay? Uh, or somebody that's doing a lot of touring, uh, like two-up touring or pulling a trailer, uh, anything that you're going to need ridiculous amounts of miles out of. This is going to be your best option. If you're doing the super slab, you know, from coast to coast all the time, you're doing iron butt runs a lot, that's probably the one to go with. This tire is, in, keep in mind, these are all my opinions based on the way I ride. I do not like the way this tire performs in the rain. Uh, I can cut this tire loose. I can break loose, uh, you know, when I gas it in the rain. This tire is uh, very unpredictable when it comes to tar, uh, tar snakes and manhole or uh, service hole covers out in the road. Uh, it really wants to slip. It's a much harder rubber compound and it really tends to want to act like it. it. It slips. So you get a lot of uh, side to side kind of sliding when you're especially crossing over those uh, whether they're wet tar snakes, cold tar snakes, hot tar snakes. If there's tar snakes and you're in a corner you probably need to slow down if you're running these tires. Just saying. This tire here I'm just gonna base my opinions off of the Storm 2 the Storm 2 sticks like glue, but it doesn't get the mileage that I can get out of this tire. Uh, I can see about, um, uh, on that Storm 2 I get about 9,000 miles versus about uh, 12,000 out of this one. So there's definitely a difference when it comes to this, but you're also paying a big price tag on this one. Metzler's really proud of their price. They're, they're, they love their tires and they... Uh, they, they certainly make them less affordable. This tire here, uh, you know, the Storm 2 is becoming more and more scarce to find. But I really think that this is a very decent design. It looks like it's got some really good evacuation channels for water. Uh, if it's anything at all like the Storm 2, it's going to stick like glue. I'm just not going to have an issue with it. Uh, it, it is a dual compound tire, so there's a, a stripe probably can't really make it out in the video but there's a stripe right through the center here that has uh, the harder rubber in it for the, the longer mileage they claim that these things get about 20 percent better mileage than the storm 2 that has yet to be seen I I don't know if that's going to be true or not so again just a little visual here and uh, I will show you the front tires as well OK, 
Okay, I'm going to be able to show you all three types of tires here. Metzler versus Avon. Avon. You got over here, this is the Metzler 880 front tire. The one here in the middle is the 3D XM front. And this one over here is the Storm 2. You can see the tread patterns are very different, all of them. Opinions on them. This tire, of course, I just talked about the rear tire. The front tire is no different. It's a very hard rubber compound. It's very predictable handling. It rolls real easy side to side, steering wise. Uh, on the dry pavement, it's a fantastic option. If you're running in the rain, it's it's definitely gonna fall short. You know, you can uh, you might wind up activating your ABS a little bit more with that one. For the type of aggressive riding that I do, that is not my choice of tire. Over here, we've got the Storm 2. Really, really, truly like this tire and highly recommend it if you can find it. If you guys, uh, you know, they, they discontinued this tire as well going to the Storm 3D. If you can find them still, I would suggest you go and get some. If you if you guys like the Avon tires, find one. Uh, they're still, at the time I'm making this video, you can still, you know, find them out there. And grab them up while you can. This tire here, the 3D XM. This is the second 3D XM I've had on here. The first one, they actually warranted because it wore out so fast. In my opinion of this tire, I, I am not happy with this tire at all. I'm very happy with the way it grips because it really has worked excellent. It's done what it's supposed to. It's worked good in the rain. It's worked good on the dry. Uh, it, it's super predictable. It falls into the corners really nice. The problem I'm having though is the same issue that I had with that first evaluation when I went through that tire. Uh, if you guys watch my other review, you'll see what was going on with it. I'm getting it extremely worn out really, really fast. Uh, this, this tire only has about 4,500 miles on it, and it's already trashed. It's not down quite yet to this wear indicator. It's probably got another, I, I would bet that uh, this tire goes within another 1,000 miles. So 5,500 miles maybe max on this tire, and it's going to be garbage. Uh, not a good option for the LT for this heavy bike. I think this was made for lighter bikes. They claim that it's, it's going to be good to go for the LT and the weight and everything, but if you can still find them, run the Storm 2s while they last. Or find another option, another radial tire option to maybe mix and match in. I know they don't advise that, but you know, it's your life, it's your bike, it's your, uh, your deal. Um, I'm going to do that when, when these Storm 2s stop becoming available. There's no doubt that I'll be switching over to another brand up in the front, something that I can re that is reliable and it doesn't have this big long tread pattern like this, which you're just asking for it on uh, on a tire like this. So anyway, that's uh, my little two cents about this stuff. Maybe it's more than two cents. Maybe it's two bucks worth of uh, opinion and advice. So in the end, I do not recommend the 3D XM front tire. I strongly recommend the Storm 2 if you can find it. And this one here is for the certain type of rider that uh, doesn't really want to see if they can scrape pegs or scrape up body panels going around corners and uh, doesn't do a lot of rain riding and things like that. And you just all you care about is just high miles. So you, you, you riders are out there and you know who you are. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please check out our other ones. We have a lot of videos out there, a lot more coming, uh, whether they're videos on working on a bike or if they're uh, reviewing products, I like to do it all. So check it out. Thanks for watching, guys.